Hey yo, how's it going? Welcome back. It's uh, another 20 minutes till dawn video. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hope you're having a pretty good one today. We are going to take Spark Bat Gun out for a spin here. Uh, I want to see what some of the new uh, synergy perks are. The the new perk trees, the Holy Tree and the uh, well, is what is it? Holy Arts and Dark Arts trees. I don't think it'd be super impactful for any elemental builds. Don't really seem too relevant for them. But the some of the new synergies, uh, which I don't know what they do yet, uh, I have a sneaking suspicion are going to be uh, useful, especially for elemental builds. The one I predominantly think will be useful is called uh, oh shit, what's it called? Generator. Generator uses the uh, one of the perk, one of the the uh, the pickup perks. You pick up experience orbs and you get ammo back. It uses that perk, which I think is recharge, combined with the uh, battery bullet perk, energized, right? Uh, to create a new synergy. I have no idea what it does. The synergy is called generator. My sneaking suspicion, and I and I, I promise you, I've never lied to you. I promise you, I have no idea what it does. My guess, my honest guess is that uh, it will, I think, uh increase uh fire rate for either every hit or every time lightning strikes an enemy that's my theory uh we'll see what happens oh perks or runes sorry runes over on the sword side alacrity elemental barrage uh glass cannon and cadence all pretty solid we're taking this just for the fire rate increase like wild magic and not that good you can maybe convince me that maybe gun glyph here with the back gun is pretty solid and then cadence should be shooting infinite already. We don't need ethereal. So we're going to go cadence for the piercing shots on back gun. Very good. Over on the shield side. Courage, elemental shield, blessing, and growth. All pretty normal stuff. Uh, let's let's hop in here. Back gun spark. Let's let's uh let's make it happen. I mean back gun, usually a pretty weak early game, but with cadence, has a genuinely strong early game if you ask me. The piercing bat shots are very good. And then also the increased damage doesn't hurt either, right? But infinite infinite piercing bat bullets, very very nice. Works well with spark. It's fun. It's funny to me at least. Ooh, what do you do here? I think you just take pyromage. Just DPS increases here are pretty useful. It's funny to me that. Uh, a weapon that was designed to synergize both with bullet damage and summon damage tends to be one of the better, if not best, elemental weapon guns. Kind of funny, I think, but whatever. Uh, intense burn. Not really feeling that. We're not going for a summon build here, despite the presence of bat gun. We'll take we'll take frost mage. Seems fine. Not super impactful right now either way, but hey, CC, CC pretty solid. And uh, hopefully you're having a good one. If I didn't say it before, hopefully you're having a good day today. I just recorded the last video and doing these back to back. Because hey, you know, it's early bird. Early bird gets the worm here in the old YouTube game. And I am trying to get, I'm trying to eat that worm. I'm trying to get in there, I'm trying to eat the worm. That's a saying that we all know and love. Everyone's always talking about eating that worm. If you haven't seen it, Holy Arts. Uh, I did a video about it with Diamond. Very cool, very strong, I should mention as well. Deceptively strong. When I first read this, I thought this would be terrible. Because, you know, 20 damage, that's nothing. But uh, it works really well with Diamond. Trust me, you gotta watch the video. That's all I'll say about it right now. Uh, but hey, you know, if you, if, you, if you like this and that video, maybe you should consider, you know, you don't have to subscribe. Because I am, if I'm being honest, I mentioned it in the last video a little bit, I am kind of moving away from 20-minute content. A little bit. Not, not a lot, but a little bit for sure. Uh, like, it's... Not every game lasts forever on YouTube. Not every game can be the Binding of Isaac, right? And I think, I think if anything, in this genre, I think Vampire Survivors is proving to kind of be that Isaac game, right? It's the one that kind of is evergreen. It's going to last forever, more or less. Um... I don't know. It's, it's not a big deal. Uh, I guess we take power shot here for splinter shot. Seems pretty useful. And reap around, obviously. 
not terrible either. But uh, not not essential. Would love to see any of the perks required for uh, the synergies we're aiming for on today's run, but whatever. It's not a big deal, it's fine. I'm not upset or anything about it. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, the holy holy build, really cool. I'll take take aim here. We need a need assassin for one of the perks, so I'll snag that. Uh, forgot what I was gonna say. Just completely sidetracked. Lost it entirely. Um. I am, we're not falling behind yet, but we are not getting great perks here. Penetration's an extra pen on every single one of my back gun shots, so that seems pretty useful. Um, big shot's okay, but we don't need it. I'd rather, I'd rather have more pen, for sure. Should help out a lot with the damage. Oh, you know what I should mention? Other content, because I should keep in mind People who are watching these videos, A, might be your first time checking out the channel. If so, hi, hello. Uh, B, if you're interested in, I mean, let's let's be honest, you're not interested in Monster Train content. It, that, that game, I love Monster Train. I've played almost 500 episodes of it, but people are not now, or very few people are now discovering Monster Train as a video game. I think, I think we can save that, right? We're not gonna, you know, be executed by Shiny Shoe for saying that the the game is <laughs> pretty much the end of its life cycle. I think more or less the devs have admitted that because they're, you know, working on a new game and stuff and they're like, hey, we're done. We're done with Monster Train. We want to make new stuff. Which, hey, you know, more power to them. Absolutely. Um, but what you might be interested in if you're watching this video, I've been doing a little uh, Cult of the Lamb. On the YouTubes, that game has been really fun. Very, very cool. I I am a little bit shocked at how fun the city management slash base building element of it is. I thought the game was going to be like, not to be rude, but a rip off of Isaac, like a cheap Isaac, you know, roguelite uh, clone with nothing new to, to bring to the table. And as far as the uh, the gameplay itself, like the like the you know, the combat like dungeon crawling part of the game, it doesn't. I'll be frank. It brings pretty much nothing new to the table, from my experience so far. I'm not, I'm not that far in, but from what I've seen so far of playing the game myself, I've been staying fairly, or as spoiler free as I can with it, it brings nothing new to the table, which is fine. You don't necessarily have to bring new stuff to the table all the time. Where it does excel is that city that, uh, at least for me, where it excels is that, that city management stuff. Now, man, these all suck. These are all real bad. I don't want these. I'm gonna take Vitality, I think. I don't know, I'm not gonna take it. You can't make me. I'll take, I'll take Sniper for the bullet speed. These all suck, real bad. Um. But yeah, the, the part that really surprised me that was enjoyable was the, the city builder, city management slash like uh, base building element of the game. Did not expect it to be as cool as it was and i will say i have played very little of don't starve but someone in a comment in one of the videos said it was very don't starve like and that like kind of made everything click for me that did feel a lot like don't starve and don't starve admittedly a game not that i didn't like it i just can't get into it i don't know something about it can't can't start playing don't starve not not interested really also fuck you get out of here reindeer i'm talking right now Go away. Didn't see any legit no lightning mage at all. Motherfucker. And if I did, then uh, my brain's broken. And I just, you know, I have a tumor. You can't... <laughs> I don't have a tumor, for the record. Maybe I should get a checkup or something. It's been a long time since I've been to the doctor. Like a general health checkup thing. Be pretty cool. 
But also, like, you know, America. The job doesn't give me health care coverage, really, of any kind. You know how it is. Well, I don't want to complain about my job too much, I actually. I like it quite a bit. Um, I've been tagged. Oh, God. Uh, God damn you, game. I'm going to take quick hands here. For the, you know, love of God, please just give me any of the perks that I need for these synergies. I need the magnet tree. I need the lightning mage tree, which hey, I am playing spark, kind of a, like a, a required tree anyway. I would say. I think it's a fair argument to make. What do we got here? Tome of power, yuck. Tome of summoning pretty good here. I'll take Tome of summoning. That should help out a decent bit. Um, I hate you. Spark, just just get give me the right perks, please. Should have figured I should have played Shauna. Should have played Shauna so I could reroll. But I wanted to make an actual elemental build. Whatever, it's, I'm, I'm sure we'll get there. I have had very little issues with this game finding the perks I need for certain builds. Rarely do I ever not see what I need. And today might be that day. <laughs> Take a little extra health, why not? Big shot's pretty bad. Oh, well, maybe it's good, I don't know. Ah, the fire, I don't like the fire rate drop. Seems not very useful. Okay. Fuck you, game. I'm losing my damn mind out here. It's cool, it's fine, it's no big deal. Um. So yeah, so, uh, Cult of the Lamb. Uh, I I don't dislike Don't Starve. It's just every time I try to play it, it's it's the sort of same thing with like Terraria, where Terraria is obviously a very good game. I'm not gonna be out here talking smack about Terraria. I don't want to get murdered. And now we see both of them. We see haste and magnetism here. Uh, I care more about magnetism because I think the generator perk is one I'm more interested in here. I think I think it's the one that I care about. Um, God, twenty twenty minutes, twenty not twenty minutes. Uh, Cult of the Lamb, base building very don't starve esque, more enjoyable than I thought it would be because there's like a element of like of taking care of your your followers and stuff. I get to name I get to name people who leave comments on my videos. I get to name the followers after them. I get to ritualistically sacrifice them. It's all very cool and very fun. Uh, I'm enjoying the game, but I don't know if I'd recommend it. I don't know if I'd recommend it because, uh, well, you know, if you've never played Isaac before, I'd recommend it probably. I think that's the, the way I would put it, which is not in a good endorsement. Um, but. I don't know. It's fine. I'm having fun, but I don't I don't know if everyone would have fun. Especially if you've played a lot of Don't Starve already. I imagine if you played a lot of Don't Starve, you probably actually wouldn't like it. That's that's my issue, right? I've played I've played a little over a thousand hours of the binding of Isaac. Um I played probably if I had to guess, I'd say six hundred or seven hundred hours of Gungeon. I've played not a ton of Risk of Rain, or, or not, not Risk of Rain, I've played well, a decent bit of Risk of Rain, but that's not really super uh, relevant here. I've played a lot of uh, Nuclear Throne. Not a ton, but I, I, I used to speedrun the game quite a bit. So, I've, I've played those styles of games to death, basically. Played them a lot. So, that element of the game is not only what I say is not is, is, is it's just not even that good comparatively. I would say all of the three games that I mentioned, Isaac, Nuclear Throne, and Gungeon do a way better job. Um God man. Okay, give me magic lens, whatever. 
Maybe I should have taken giant so I didn't expand the uh, perk pool. Mm. Debatable. There's recharge. Okay. All we need now is energized. We have the lightning tree. We're so close, baby. Um. These all suck so bad. Give me a refraction. Anyway, but that's more or less Cult of the Lamb. Literal, little combat gameplay itself, kind of stinky. A base building, much more fun than I thought it would be. But if you played a lot of Don't Starve, I wouldn't be shocked if you were like, wow, why would I play this? I can just play Don't Starve instead. Uh, but I, one thing I will say about it too, I love the aesthetics of the game, which is something I usually don't care about that much when it comes to video games. But I make an exception for this one. I don't know what it is, but there's something just so nice about... Uh, about the aesthetics of uh, Cult of the Lamb. Like, visually, the game is very pleasant to look at. Um, and more, and the, the, the Twitch integration is very cool. I haven't been using it. I'll, my my, my uh, content for the game has purely been uh, YouTube-based right now. Um, the Twitch integration is really... It, it's a very savvy game is what I, I would describe it, I think. Um, the, like, the, like, the combination of being able to, like, develop this cult... And hey, you know, it's, you know, art imitates life, right? What is a twist stream if not a cult? Um, it's very cool, and then like just like like the 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 vocabulary the game uses, the verbiage it uses is oh god, god damn you, uh, is very uh, interesting and cool to me. Like for example, whenever you whenever you acquire a new follower. The first thing you do when you when you name them and stuff is you indoctrinate them, right? Um, which I just find to be very interesting, personally. I don't know. It's it's like, like, there's, like you can like you can you can ritual sacrifice your followers and then feed the <laughs> corpse of that follower to the rest of your followers. Like it's 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 uh, very. Very fun, very much more cult-like than I thought it would be. I thought the cult element of it was like kind of just like you know, a little bit of flavoring. It's 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 not. It's doused. It's doused in that flavoring. It's it's drenched. It's it's sopping wet in cultist flavor. Is how nobody would describe it ever. But uh, interesting. Anyway, enough about enough about cult of the lamb. If you hey, if you want, you can look at my YouTube channel. You can see the videos. You can subscribe if you want uh, to. Well, I guess you have to like turn the bell on to see them. I don't know. You have a subscription feed. You can check it out there, I suppose. You're, 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 you know. You're a strong, independent woman. You don't need me to tell you what to do. Come join my cult. Uh, what else? What else? What else do I have to talk about today? Nothing really. Just want the game to give me the perks that I want here. It's being really, really annoying. I'll take armed and ready, I suppose. It's cool. I don't know why it's being so difficult. This is this is maybe the most trouble I've had to get like a single. It's they're not hard perks to get, and like neither are capstone perks. Like, Energize sh should not be this tough. I just want to see what the Synergy perk does, that's all. It shouldn't be too much to ask. But I guess it is, I don't know. At least Bat Gun is still strong no matter what. We'll always have Bat Gun. You guys been playing anything cool lately? You guys got any games in your radar? For me right now, my radar... I mentioned Monster Train before. Inkbound is Shiny Shoe, the, the, the studio 
that made uh, Monster Train making a new game. Uh, very excited for that. Uh, other than that, though, I got really nothing on my radar. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. I don't know. What else is coming out? I, I, I got, I got, a, I did a video for Rogue Genesea. I have uh, some sponsored content lined up for that in early September, which is pretty cool. But that's a ways away. But I don't know. Other than that, nothing else. I should pick up this experience that's, that's collecting around us here. Hold on a second. Taking stalwart shield. Mainly because it doesn't unlock any extra perks for us to get annoyed by. Okay. There we go. There's energized. That's good. We still need the uh, in the wind perk. And it's in the wind. We already have assassin, right? Or, you know, we. I don't even think we have. Hold on. What do we have? We have take aim. We do have assassin. Okay, cool. Very good. So we need in the wind now. And for that, we need haste. I don't think we have haste yet, do we? Well, there's. We got gun mastery. If you slayed two. Um. You know what? Fuck you, Gunmaster. I'm taking Fusillade. Get me out of this corner, please, if you don't mind. Thank you. We don't have really any on hit effects other than the elemental effects we have here, so like burn. And that's it. And we've made very little investment into burn. We don't have intense burn. We don't have we, overload. Although I think we have uh, frostbite, right? You son of a bitch. Can't believe you do this. I think we have frostbite. I'm sure he's not long for this world. What hit me? Anyway. We are technically one hit from death here from any of these tentacle monsters. So we gotta be, you know, slightly cautious. There's intense burn. There's soothing warmth. Give me the soothing warmth. I'd rather not die. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Shogi is down. Terry's probably not too far behind health-wise here. I do love how the entire screen gets covered in lightning. That's always been fun for me. Uh, Tome of Elements, pretty cool, but give me the Tome of Rage. Thank you, please and thank you. I mean, we don't need the boost from Terry here. It doesn't actually do anything for us. But whatever. Let's get experience. Just give me the generator, man. Nope, that's gun mastery. Okay, well. One of these days, they'll show me what generator does. Terry's dead. We'll go to Terry because the chest, I think, does drop some XP here. I mean, by should, I mean, I know it does. Okay. Some big clusters over on the right side, it looks like. This is the one I can feel it. Here we go. No? Fuck you. Oh, give me shatter, sure. Okay, we're already almost level 33. We've gotten most of the XP on the ground now. Here we go, generator. When you gain ammo, also gain 35% fire rate for two seconds. I was kind of close. It wasn't it wasn't on hit. It wasn't on lightning hit. It was, I mean, hey, right now lightning does generate us ammo. So in a way, I'm kind of right. I give myself 50% credit here. Ha! <laughs> 
how does this how does this like actually end up playing out for us though? Because we're constantly gen. I don't I don't think it stacks. And if it does, I don't know, I can't tell. I can't really tell what's happening. We are shooting a lot of bats though. That's nice. I have a sneaking suspicion we are not going to find the other synergy perk this run. Yeah, probably not happening. I think Electro Mastery would love to see uh, Overload on this run. Could be kind of funny. It is absolutely blowing up the entire screen here. I should stop every once in a while to pick up uh, more XP here. Hey, we got haste. Okay, there's a shot. We seem to get like four more levels, maybe. We're, level we're leveling pretty quick here. Okay, blazing speed. Okay. All we need is in the wind now. We're doing it. What does, what does Kunoichi do? What does it even mean? I don't know. I'm not a weeb. This is the only way I can find out. I can't Google it. Okay. We got a shot here. As run and gun, we'll take it. It's not what we want, but the move speed is good. Okay. We really need to hit it here. If we don't hit it here on this next level up, we really have no shot. Okay. Moment of truth, moment of truth. In the wind? Nope. You get overload. Boo. Well, I guess you will just have to either play the game yourself or watch the next video figure out what the hell Kunoichi does. Because I don't know. I imagine if I Google it, Google probably doesn't know either right now. It might know what it means, but I don't think I don't think anyone on Google knows what this perk does yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you next time. Uh, goodbye.